it's good to have you guys here with me today and i'm really very grateful that i could pull you guys out of your deep different departments to do this conversation with me it's customer service week we already know and it was important to talk about customer service as it relates to our different departments but it's good for us to know who will be talking to us and so let's start with you sir thank you Daffy. Um, so my name is Kingsley Ogiri, I'm the group head of Human Resources for Providence Bank. What we strive to do in Providence Bank is to make sure that we have happy employees and it's my job to make sure that everyone in the bank uh, is happy and engaged. Okay, my name is Ayola. I work in the e-business division. I also lead the growth team. Uh, for the fintech and um, business solutions. Um, so what we basically do is to manage onboarding and uh, integrate um, all our fintech customers. Uh, we also ensure that all the KYC documentations are in place um, in partnership with our compliance team and our legal team. And we also work hand in hand with our technical units to ensure that there's adequate support for all our customers as our way due. Um, so majorly our aim for our, in our team is customer excellence and uh, we try to replicate it into how we relate and treat our partners. That's interesting. It's good that you, you talk about um, um, fintechs because it's huge in Nigeria, it's yeah. huge all over the world and it could be problematic too. And I think that in Providence Bank we found a way you know, to to make it work. Somebody who should know about fintech too is sitting next to you, but he's not going to be talking about fintech. He'll probably be talking about something else as he relates to his work. Um, he will tell you his name, but I call him the hype man. <laughs> For those of us who are in Providence Bank, they would know why we call him the hype man. Okay, yeah, thank you, Daffy. So, um, you just christened me with the... Uh, you made it my title to the official, <laughs> the official houseman for Providence Bank. So yeah, I accept it. Um, my name is Henry. I work in the Information Technology and Services Division arm of Providence Bank. I lead the Systems Administration Unit. Um, what we do basically is to provide the platforms, technological platforms upon which every other thing rides. We pride ourselves as a feature forward bank, and um, it's a process. Okay, so. Uh, we are trying as much as possible to leverage on technology. Uh, for those of you that serve social media survey, I'm sure you saw that post yesterday. I don't know who saw it, where they Hello. said banks are the type of car. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you Sorry. saw what uh, somebody put a product <laughs> bank. So we are doing something right. So yeah, that's yeah. basically what we. Do. It's interesting that you that you bring that up. Yeah. Um, what that tells you is that Providence Bank is becoming. Um, a part of the conversation around yeah. customer service and customer yeah. excellence. So when I saw it yesterday as a brand um, communications person, I was like, okay, mm -hmm. this is You're cool. This is sometimes this, yeah. if you think that um, people are not noticing what you do, mm -hmm. I mean, you could be wrong. Yeah. And it, this was a good test that um, people are talking Something about Providence did. Bank and what we do around customer yeah. service. Excellent. Thank you, Daffy. Hi, my name is Miriam, currently a team lead in commercial banking, a growing business unit in Providence Bank. Our focus today is um, working with SMEs, identifying SMEs in the industry, um, onboarding them onto our platform. We know how important SME is to every nation, job creation, wealth creation. You know, this is something we see them as majorly the test segment that has not been truly tapped, their potentials have not been truly tapped. And in Providence Bank, this is something we're working in at least, bringing them on board, giving them seamless banking. We know how business right now, the cost of doing business in the, in the country is. So for us in Providence Bank, what we're doing with this segment is seeing how we're partnering with them, giving back to them. We know we have products where we're adding on to their business as against taking from them, you know, and we'll talk about the cutting edge technology like my colleague Henry is doing. We're deploying all this platform to ensure that, you know, they continue to grow. We want to move them from point A to point B, you know. That's just basically in a nutshell what we are doing in um, commercial banking of Providence Bank. And of course, service can never be taken out. 
of, of what we do. So I think it's fitting to kick off this conversation around customer service with human resources because it's key to everything. So from recruitment perspective, when you're getting talent to join Providus Bank, what do you look at really in terms of getting people who would ensure that top-notch talent towards customer service, um, you get those talents into the organization? Oh, thank you, Duffy. There's the recruitment bit and then there's the engagement bit. Um, I think from a recruitment point of view, uh, what we try to do is to bring in people who are aligned with the bank's strategic goals. And so for everyone that joins Providus Bank, um, we like to, you know, assess them against what we call the Providus Persona. So the Providus Persona I had just a number of qualities that we're looking for in each person that would showcase who that Providus bank typical fit is. Um, so alignment is very key for us. Um, we've spent a lot of time refining uh, recruitment and selection processes just to make sure that we're getting the best of the best. People who align with the bank's goal of becoming number one in service excellence. And, and I think that's very important. You know, when you bring people who, in terms of their personal values, those values are in sync with what the bank is trying to do so that every time they're engaging with a customer, they're putting themselves in the customer's shoes. You're seeing the empathy, you're seeing the understanding, and you're also seeing someone who is willing to go the extra mile, just like the bank will want to go, um, you know, in partnering with SMEs, as um, Miriam uh, mentioned earlier on. And from an engagement point of view, it's also to ensure that the staff in the bank are always happy. So if the people that make up the bank are happy, if they're engaged, they're able to translate that happiness into the service that they give to the customers and the clients that they meet on a daily basis. And you know, when that happens, then you now begin to see that video that was making the rounds on social media because we're giving good service. And it's also because the people that are giving the good service are people who are happy to be associated with the Providence Bank brand. I'd like to talk to Ayola because Ayola has been in two departments in the bank that are very, very critical. So how do you marry your two experiences in trying to ensure that customers always get good service? Okay, thank you, Daphne. Um, So one of the most important thing I would like everyone to keep in mind is that every customer has their own expectations in terms of product and services. But at the same time, the major thing is to achieve one goal, to satisfy the customer. In a situation whereby you can't resolve it at that particular moment, be in contact with the customer give feedbacks, at least the customer will be happy that, okay, this person understands how I feel and they are reverting to me so to got, let me know, mm. okay, this is what is going on, this is the steps we've made, this is what we're going to do. And most times I tell people, um, these customers, they are, not, they are not upset with you. However, they react to you, don't take it personal. It's all on the job. Same so largely thing. you need to yeah. um, put yourself in the in shoes the customer, of the customer. Try and yeah. understand the customer. All right, that's nice. From your perspective, where do you get the greatest support to be able to attend to customers' needs? Uh, thank you, Daffy. We are on the forefront, we're on the battlefield, we're facing them on a daily basis, you know. Um, before we talk about support, I'll tell you something about um, having to engage customers on a daily basis. Just like Ayola talked about, feedback is very, very important. There are times we found ourselves in a position where we might have to say no, or where we can't um, immediately achieve that result for the customer. The best way out of it is prompt feedback. Let the customer know at that moment that, sorry, we can't get this done, but you give them options. And you let them know, you empathize with them, you feel so that they can easily take the next step. Because that decision, you don't know 
how important it could be to that customer at that moment. So over time, you, we've learned that. Give a customer prompt feedback. Yeah. So um, it makes everybody happy at the end of the day and find other ways to delight the customer. Then going back to your question about support, um, I think it's a total package for us in Providence Bank. Um, support has come in all forms, you know, talking about the people, just like Kinsley said, getting the right set of people, happy people, tenacious people. I think that's who we are um, as a bank, you know, from top, the executive management, the structure is so flat. Right. The beauty about Providence Bank is we have tailor-made products. Um, we know each customer is unique. Yeah. So executive management has made it such, it has made it so easy for us that there and there, you can take decisions and give the customer what that customer needs at that moment. So, I mean, we can't thank them enough for such a flat structure. And that even goes down, even up to the cleaners, the security. We pride ourselves for ambience. Uh, um, it is interesting that you talk about ambience. Um, you know, I, I often say to people when I have conversations, whether they be customers or even some of, some of my friends, is the fact that Providence Bank is probably the only financial institution where the five senses are activated at the same time. So it's the sense of smell, the sense of sound, the sense of taste, um, the sense of sight. Um, what's the fifth one now? Somebody help me. And the sense of hearing. Um, once you come into our premises, all of those are activated in the, at the same time. Yeah. So it's the, from the fragrance that you smell in the air when you come in. It's the fact that you can have tea, coffee um, while you do your business. It's the fact that you can hear music playing from the loudspeaker. It's the fact that um, our structure itself, it, that different in all of our locations. So, those are ways we pay particular attention to our customers because we want them to be able to feel different when they get into our space to feel at home mm -hmm. and i think it's been wonderful yeah. talking to you guys talk about the different things that you do for the bank i'd like to on behalf of management Thank all of you, Kingsley, Ayola, Henry, and um, Mariam, for having this conversation with us. To all our esteemed customers, thank you for banking with us. We're in business because of you, but more importantly, we're happy to partner with you to make sure that Providence Bank is that referral point that you see as a partner in progress. We want to be part of your success story. So it's very, very important that, you know, you let us know how we can serve you better. Um, to our staff, to the executive management, thank you for being there. Thank you for making everything happen for us to be able to serve our customers right. Yeah, to all my customers, internal customers, external customers, it's all about you. I got you. <laughs> Hype man right there. <laughs> Hype man right there. Happy Customer Service Week. We thank you for the wonderful experience. We look forward to a more, you know, intriguing experience in the years to come. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to, you know, bank you as a future forward bank. So thank you. First and foremost, I'd like to thank all of you who have found time to listen to this um, conversation from wherever you're listening from. From a brand perspective, I do feel that a brand is largely customer service, which is what we try to do every day in uh, Providence Bank. We want to thank you for the opportunity to be of service to you in Providence Bank. We want to let you know that we will not let you down. Thanks a lot for giving us the opportunity to be of service to you. My name is Daffy Iwuri. I lead the brand and corporate communications department of the bank. And just to let you know the best is yet to come, to come. from Providence Bank. Thank you. Thank you.